everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru where today we're going to be continuing on with our sort of survival game our island survival and I think it's probably a good idea to actually get some environment in the, in the game so that we can start implementing the parts we want to be able to start coding within the game so uh, I'm using a pack uh, I found on the marketplace I believe it was free um, or it might be the monthly pack. I can't quite remember. Either way, I didn't pay a damn thing for it. But um, it's a low poly style deluxe to tropical environment, which comes with things like a boat, uh, piers, uh, beach stuff, palm tree. You know, gives us our island uh, feel, if you will, which is exactly what we want. Um, so I added it to the project. We've got that file in here now. So let's just start adding some stuff in, I guess. Um, the first thing I probably am going to add in is some water. So let's find a uh, large water circle thing. We'll drag that in. Oh, that is pretty large. Okay. Oh, God. I'm now doing the wrong thing there. How do I? Ah, let me select. Oh god, where have you gone? Um, where are you? Well, <laughs> let's try. Uh, let's try circle. There we go. There we go. That's better. So we'll just drag that down to sort of here, I guess. Should be okay for now. We can always uh, amend it. A little bit later on um, but we've got some water now this comes with the pack as you can see it's very low um, poly uh, you can see the triangles moving around as we speak but it's effective enough that it, it works and it looks kind of nice so the next thing we need is something to kind of walk around on we're gonna do some landscaping um, I think this is probably uh, it's roughly a good size um, let's just maybe make it like nine by nine uh, or should we do ten by ten I don't know let's do ten by ten yeah that looks okay and um, we'll make it ever so slightly bigger and we'll make it should I make it too, yeah I don't want to make it too big but I want to make it big enough that if I edit it um, down the line it will um, I can I can at least sort of mess around with it a little bit uh, okay yeah we just want to make sure so we can add to it really more than anything let's call that a winner I guess and for the material I'm gonna look up the landscape one that this came with if I can where is it landscape low poly tropical let's give that one a go and we're gonna create and um, we're not going to do anything with like world composition in this series. We're not going to do like uh, anything too crazy. We're just going for uh, a small area where we can start adding in the elements that we want to add in. Our small survival island, if you will. Now, once this is loaded up, there we go. It looks okay. It looks quite far down though. But we can work with that. Uh, let's go into the paint section now. We need to add in the weights of everything So we're gonna start with the sand layer. There we go wonderful it, Again might take a few moments for it to load up But once we've done that we should in theory be able to paint there we go oh, It's done it all automatically for me, and it's all just one very bland color but that's kind of to be expected because um we are going for that low poly look with this one um so it is very much uh, understandable uh so next thing we want to do is start to uh, manipulate it a little bit now to do that i'm just going to um i think this is very low down uh can i move it up a bit let's see if we can do that there we go uh a smidge more would probably work there we go, brilliant. Okay, I didn't go too far down. No, 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 much better, much better. So it's just a trial and error, right? So we've got a huge landscape to use, um, but for now, we're just gonna amend a very, very small area. Uh, let's bring this up above the water. There we go, whoa, that's probably a little bit too much. Um, and I'm just gonna, for now, 
flatten this out that's probably way too high um, so we're probably going to want a little bit of a sub area we're just going to bring up another with a sculpt up a bit more we just want it to pop above the water that's all and then we've got a there we go that looks good and then we'll drag that around as well connect it up and as a result we have a very very small island there we go very very simple stuff then we're just going to smooth this all out for now um, and then we can layer it up a bit later on but for now this looks relatively good and you can already see that the water again because it's all come from the same pack it's all connecting up pretty well uh, just smooth that out a little bit more uh, so that it sits a bit nicer and you think about how big this little section is we've already got a relatively big island to work from so very good stuff uh, nice and easy to implement and considering this thing was free uh, you can't really complain too much um, about the results for a seven minute video so far so pretty good results um, this is probably going to be too big of an island but we're going to make it feel a lot smaller by adding lots of stuff to it uh, because over the next couple of episodes what we want to have happen is uh, we want to um, start implementing some bits and bobs that we can interact with um, things like rivers and, and that kind of good stuff let's get rid of that text as well okay what's that red thing there I, I'm not entirely sure what that is world data layers okay we'll just leave that alone um, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm, of course, going to get our circle. For some reason, these singular planes, they don't like being selected very easily. Uh, let's go to the details. We're going to make it bigger now. So it's set to 111 at the moment. But what we are going to do is we're going to set that to probably about 5. And that one also to probably about 5. There we go. Um, and actually, you can see, because it's made the polygon slightly bigger, actually we are getting uh, a little bit of a slightly larger and nicer effect uh, and now we have lots of water. I'm actually going to uh, increase it a little bit more. I'm going to go for like 7 and 7. I don't really want to, if I'm running around here, I don't really want to notice that sand too much. Um, but from down here, it's it's quite, it's quite noticeable, right? But if we were to walk up here, maybe you can just see it. But that's fine. That's okay. That We can always uh, hide that with more water down the line uh, and so the other thing we're going to cover today is now that we've got some water let's see if we can find uh, some trees in here let's go to the meshes let's see what have we got volcano water beach flora maybe uh, we've got palm trees and we've got some island trees coconut palms uh, banana trees amazing okay that's really that's a lot more than I was actually expecting from this pack so that's good so um, Let's add some foliage in. Oh, no, that's not the way to do it. Let's do it this way instead. I'm going to drag. Um, I'm going to, how do I? I can never remember quite how to um, do this in any easy way whatsoever. So we're going to grab all of this for now, just for now, and drag it into this foliage box. And we're going to set them all up to be a foliage type. Uh, we'll have to do this for all of them. And. Um, once we've done that, uh, we should hopefully be able to start painting some foliage onto our island. And, um, of course, we can then um, expand out the island if we need to uh, down the line. But it'll take a few seconds or a few, few minutes possibly uh, to update the meshes for all of those trees. But once you have, uh, we should be good to go. One thing we will need to do is change the paint density down to 0. Point sort of 0. 0. 0.001 probably. Um, let's give that a go. Uh, oh gosh, that's even far too high as well. So let's do that to 0. 0.005. Let's try that. That's a lot better. Okay. <clears throat> now we also need to be careful of what trees we're going to be painting where um let's open up our content drawer and see what we actually have so we've got some brushes that's fine just grass and stuff that's fine to randomly scatter around 
um, palms are fine and we've got a few other things here as well that's all looking fine now okay so normally you don't have sand uh, on your islands too f like th this wouldn't normally be generated like this very often in, in an island this this large so what we're going to do is while that's just loading up those shaders what we're going to do is we're going to come back in here we're going to grab the grass here it is and we're just going to see what happens when we paint some on to our landscape we don't want to take too much away from our sand but what we do want to do is um, just kind of have a little bit of grassy area so that the plants and the trees kind of make sense that they're growing there um, and then on the sand we might just have the occasional palm tree um, but it's good to get again we're, we're, we're compiling a, a fair few shaders so we'll wait for this to compile and then we'll be back okay so our shaders kind of popped in just from what we painted so far uh, let's add a little bit more greenery uh, in here there we go and it's got a lovely blend to it so we'll just kind of bring it down here so you get a bit more of the shape um, okay and then we'll bring it around here a little bit there we go you've got a really nice blend on here and um, we're away that looks really good for low poly that's actually not bad um, and then what we want to do is just come through to our foliage here um, now I'm going to keep everything tagged on here while we just do the middle part. So let's just add some around here and then we might put some up on here like so. Some there. There we go. Um, we'll bring some around here as well. And we'll just kind of dot some more around in there. Thicken it up a little bit, uh, especially in that middle bit. There we go, and uh, we'll leave that there for now. Okay, wonderful stuff. So now we have a bit of an island going. What we wanna do is select everything in our foliage tool and deselect it so that we can just select, oh, click on the palm tree with the coconut. We'll do that one. And uh, what else have we got here? We've got, um, there was one other thing I was going to add into this, and now I can't see it on here. Banana tree, that's one. Oh, there was one more. There was like a um, banana tree. Um, where is it? Where's it gone? It's, we did have one selected, but I think I've lost it. That's fine. We'll do the trees for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower the density now even more like so we're just gonna paint around uh, I might up it a little bit more <laughs> than that uh, just along this beach here we're just gonna paint a few randomly scattered palm trees and this is just to kind of make it look a little bit more um oh i didn't mean I, i'm gonna do that there we go keep it actually on the grass maybe and there we go and now we have a little bit of an area that looks like an actual island now this isn't perfect it's gonna need a little bit more TLC than just what I've done here in uh, 16 minutes but what this now does is offers us an opportunity to code within an environment we're actually going to be playing in um, I always find that remaining in those Unreal Engine gray boxes are not very useful when you're trying to actually visualize your game put together whereas okay this might only provide us an area to test things in you might change and create another area for the final game but testing in an environment that actually looks like the game you're going to be playing just helps you visualize that little bit better what your players were going to be playing when they're fine they're playing your finished version so 
I always advise people to just mock together a very quick and easy test area that they can code within because it really will help you uh, understand what your players will see in the final product. But hopefully this uh, will help you understand how to put levels together as well. Um, but this second episode was more for me than it was for you just to get things ready so that we can start building on this and um, running around in it, crafting, etc. So uh, we've implemented First Hunger and we have a little run around island now um, that we can play in. Uh, the next thing that I will be doing is um, probably working a bit more on those Thirst and Hunger um, mechanics and we're going to see if we can't get some water and some uh, some food in this game that we can start drinking from. Um, but thank you so much guys for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. Um, gave you a quick uh, look over the foliage tool and the landscaping tools. Um, and yeah, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.